investing journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. I hope we have Bill Meridian on the line today. Bill, are you there? Evidently, we got some type of a technical difficulty so far, but we'll try to get this uh, taken up as quickly as we possibly can. This I've been working on this all morning to get it corrected. So uh, he's supposed to be on. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> It was supposed to be on at because he needs more time than most people because he's got such great information. Let's just give him a second here, and uh, we'll get him hooked up, and we'll be uh, ready to go. So that's uh, pretty much the main thing that we're watching that we were going on. Uh, Bill, are you there? I sure am, Larry. Hello. Hey, thank you, buddy, for being on. We really appreciate it because the quality of your work is supreme. <laughs> Why don't you tell the folks what we're looking at right now? Okay, <clears throat> just let me try and get my presentation up here. Um, so I thought you were calling me. I thought I had about three or four more minutes, so <clears throat> I'm not quite ready. Okay, start sharing. Now you see the screen, and now you should see, get rid of this thing. How's that? How's that, Larry? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to, trying can to get you hear connected. Me? Yes, I can. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you see my screen? Uh, not yet. Be just a second, maybe it'll be uh, coming through in just a bit. I don't know what the problem is. Can you hear me, Bill? Uh oh, lost connection. Oh dear. Well, folks, we're going to have to hold on here a bit till we get Bill back and then we'll uh, move on. What I'll try to do here is uh, get back to some of these charts that we've been looking at. I was really looking forward to listening to what he has because his his cycle work is as good as just about uh, anything that uh, you know that I've ever seen. So for what we'll do here is let me get this up here for one second and I'll start sharing a screen something that we've been watching here. Uh, let's get this up here and take a look at it. You know, I'm just a simple old cowboy over here. By the way, uh, the Indiana State Sycamores played uh, Utah in the NIT tournament semifinals yesterday from Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, believe it or not, it was at Hinkle Fieldhouse where they filmed the movie Hoosiers. And all I had about five relatives in that game uh, watching the game last night. Indiana State won. They had a very good team. They were almost in the NCAA. They got knocked out by Alabama, and Alabama's in the Final Four. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going on. Just to take an off, off, off the cuff here about risk control and stuff. The betting odds, folks, for the University of Connecticut to win the NCAA tournament is a seven to one. That means for you, if you want to bet a hundred dollars on UConn winning that against the other two teams, they have to win both games. All right. 
you get paid seventeen dollars, folks. You bet a hundred and you get paid seventeen dollars. That has got to be the worst valuable value bet I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> but anyway, that's what's happening. I'll I'll tell you. I'm not, well, yeah. Since we got a second here, and you're tired of A B C D. I know that. Let me give you a basketball story. It's 1993, 94, 1994, and Steve Alford, who had played at Indiana University, was Mr. Basketball. Uh oh, we've got a bell coming up, and I think we got Bill on the line now. Is that correct now? And the screen yeah, share is working. We're, we're all ready to go. It looks like we're all ready to go, Bill. Can Let you see turn. my screen? Yes, we can. I, that's what they told me that okay. they could. So if you give me all a right. second, I will make sure that we have everything done. And there we go. I should be all ready to go right now. Okay. Here is the most basic idea to keep in mind. Now, this is a little blurry. I'm sorry. It's the best copy I could get out of the book, but it is from. The Changing World Order by Ray Dalio, and it shows the U.S. Central Bank balance sheet as a percentage of GDP going back to 1900, and that huge move you see from 2010 up to where we are now, look, look that's, that goes back 123 years. Wow. And you want to know why the markets are up? Well, everything is up. As my old friend Ian Notley used to say, there's enough money around for any Tom, Dick, and Harry to buy virtually anything. Yeah. So that's that's for people who say the market. I said, well, just take this, uh, put it at the top, uh, S&P 500, and put it the bottom, leave the dates alone. And I mean, this is why you were surprised that the market is going up, real estate's going up, gold's going up, Bitcoin's going up. And I think gold and Bitcoin are linked in that people want to get out of paper assets because look at this. I mean, that is a depreciation of the Federal Reserve notes in your pocket mm -hmm. or in your bank account. So that's the reason. Is Here's a sign they have too much money. This is Action Comics, the first one, the first time that Superman ever appeared. And $4.2 million is the current bid. Oh, my God. <laughs> For a comic For a book? comic book. At 10 cents. Oh now, that's got to be the greatest. That's got to be better than any of the bets you were talking about, Larry. You go from 10 cents to 4.2 yeah. million. And he's, Jeez, for some that's reason. Better, that's better than Bitcoin. And for some, Superman didn't like Volkswagens, I guess. So, wow. So, anyway, this is the S&P 500 monthly histogram. This is based on 96 years of data. But as you can see, April. April has everything going for it. The only thing not going for it is the cycles I usually show you point down. So I think we'll get some sort of a mild correction, but I still think the month will close higher. Here's the outlook from three different viewpoints. All months of April up 63%. Month and election years up 66%. Years ending in four, of which there aren't that many, up 31% of the time. So on average, it's above 50% if you average it out. So the S&P finished the month of March up 3.1%, yielding five consecutive positive months. This signals, signals an extension of the bull market. Since 1950, there have been 29 such cases, of which 27 were higher. Now, this, is, this is the momentum. April is one of the best S&P months of the year over the last 50 years, up 36 of the last 50 years. Q1 was up. Over 10%. Looking at the Dow Jones since 1885, a strong Q1 has been followed by a higher April in 51 of 80 cases. Bill, we've got to take a break and here. Could you stay with us, please? The yep, there's the music. We'll be right back. Bill Meridian, Cycles Research, folks. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that. As Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back with Bill Meridian Cycles Research. Bill, please continue. So we're on page six. Okay. And I think I left off with April has risen in 12 of the last 13 years after a positive Q1. And the two-week period from the 15th to the 29th is the strongest. So the cycles, I'll go through them very fast. The one, four, and 10-year cycle shows some sort of a peak here in April. I'm not too concerned about that. I think the other... These momentum factors override this. The momentum factors are dynamic. This is static. And here's a look at the one, four, 10 year cycles in this month. Oops, just blown up a little bit. That's the middle of the month. But this is contradicted by all the previous studies, which says the second half is going to be strong. So, and let's look at the S&P. It broke out above a prior high and it's broken out of that, what appeared to be an ascending, um, funnel or whatever you want to call it wedge and wedge and here you go you're up here so i've got to stop right below here and i'm long i don't think it's coming back down through that line and if we look at the look at the new high, new highs new lows this is last friday 369 new highs 12 new lows 264 to 50 on the big board in the NASDAQ, and here are the numbers for the week. Now, that happens in a bull market. So, and every indication, if you look at the S&P unweighted or the net or the um, value line, which is 1,700 stocks unweighted, more and more stocks are joining in the rally. And the big cap stocks, like I sold Microsoft and Apple in January because the relative strength was lagging. So, they have an enormous effect on the index, but most stocks that don't have an effect on the index are rising. And here is the 10-day moving average of 
the AD line advances to climb. That's as of Friday. You can see the higher lows in here, and a, we're well into positive territory, and that is the cumulative AD line. So it looks fine to me, technically. Now, here are the sectors, and I just changed this in the last hour. Energy has come up to three. Energy was down here in the bottom. Communication services are up here, financial, and there's technology in fourth place. As I said, mm -hmm. the money is flowing from technology into these other sectors. Now, here are here's my screen of strong stocks. This is a seasonal rank, a relative strength rank, the overall rank. AVGO is Broadcom. I don't know why, when they merged the companies, why didn't they leave the old ticker symbol, BRCM? I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> but it's AVGO, which is Broadcom. Then uh, you have Take-Two here, and XEL is a technology company. NVIDIA has dropped down. It was in first place. Marvell Technology, Akami, Texas Instruments, Google, all technology stocks. So uh, those are the favorites. Now, I, somebody out there is wondering, if you develop the first planetary software, can you tell us what the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction coming up on April 20th is going to do? Well, not much, because this is the effect of 17 of these conjunctions from the year 1885. That is, that is the projected line. So you can see a bit of an acceleration here, but it, it doesn't change. Uh, it doesn't change the market's direction. It just falls in the middle of an uptrend. It, it Bill, however, has been. Uh, yes. Question. I've been listening to you for many, many, you know, five decades now. But as I recall from the old days back in Chicago, the uh, they they had these astral conferences with uh, Grace Morris that you attended a couple times. They always yeah. talked about Jupiter being the money planet. Is that correct? That it has to do with financial stuff? Well, it has to do with expansion. Okay, and, all right. You know, expansion. If you're building something, or, you know, I'm, I'm working right now with one guy funding a company in New York who's got the Sun conjunct Jupiter and Scorpio. So uh, you could say that, I guess. It's got to do with abundance and optimism and expansion. Okay. So next I've got, uh, and by the way, this Jupiter Uranus conjunction on the 20th is usually a high in the U.S. 10 year note. So more earning surprise trades. These are both April 17th after the bell, and they're both bullish. I, my choice here is IBM over Tesla. I think the IBM, the IBM technicals appear a bit stronger than Tesla, but you take a position on the 16th or 17th because they report after the bell on the 17th. Those are for one day earnings pops. That happens to be Arch Crawford's birthday. Do you know that? April 17th, also J.P. Morgan. <laughs> and somebody okay. else has one on the 25th of this month. I don't know who that is. Somebody in Vienna. I don't know oh, it's you, Bill. Happy birthday to you, yep. buddy. <laughs> Thank you. And here we are at the U.S. 10-year note. As you can see, this is not a great period of the year, April through June, but I think it rates are in a long-term bull market. So I, I'm only looking to set up to go short. I'm not looking to try to go long. And here is... The 10 year note daily histogram for the this is all April's since 1982. And you'll note that that conjunction of Jupiter Uranus, look where it falls on the 20th. Well, that's already, it's confirming this annual downswing in the T note from the 16th of April to the 25th. So that may be the next uh, good short trade in the 10 year note. Mm -hmm. And here's the, oh, here's, here it is, uh, the, effect of the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction on the 10-year notes from 1983. We'll just make a little correction there. And uh, we'll go back to this. So that, again, that's the 20th. And you can see here we have a, a high on the 15th and here the 20th. So at the latest, I go short on the 20th. Now, oil, this I want to spend some time on. Oil is in its strong seasonal period. You can see it right there. This is the histogram of expected return. In other words, the probability that oil is going to go up times the percentage change. And you can see a very strong seasonality here, January through April. And look at this, August through November. So we're in the strongest month of the year, April. So the one thing you don't want to do is go short. 
April has been the strongest month to own oil, up 63% of the time for an average gain of 3.4%. I foresee, well, 85 have already hit. I wrote this two days ago. 85 and possibly $90 per barrel by late April. Now, this is the oil cycle, and you see a, a bit of a peak up here in the middle of the month, but the point is it's going higher. And let's go back to that first graph I showed from Ray Dalio's book. All that excess credit's got to go somewhere. And so here you're having higher oil prices, and they, they're trying to shut down energy production. And if you take away supply while the demand is rising or static, you'll get higher prices. Now, here's daily oil. See, it popped out here. I bought it down in here because the support level is 79, 79 and a half. And mm -hmm. we've already hit, I think, 85. I think we're there today. But I think we had, it could we had, 80, we had 86 in May, Bill. 86, okay. uh, 20 or 30, I think. Yeah. So now, this is, I just put this in. This is the XLE Energy ETF. This is stocks daily, weekly, monthly, monthly. And the old three up. Oh, here right. comes now our, we have to sell people something. We've got to sell some goods here at TFNN. Stay tuned, folks. Yep. Bill Meridian Cycles Research. Listen to the commercial, it's always a good one. We'll be right back, folks. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, we're back, folks, with Bill Meridian, Cycles Research. Please continue, my friend. Um, okay, we were talking about energy, oil. Uh, this uh, slide, uh, this graph was um, from Monday, I do believe. Anyway, here we have the XLE Energy ETF, daily, weekly, and monthly, the ETF of the energy stocks, uh, in Ian Notley's free up form, daily, weekly, monthly, price, momentum, relative strength. So let's go down here to weekly, and what do we see? See where that circle is? That is a breakout of this ascending triangle that's been in force since the autumn of 2022. And you can also see we've gone to a new high here above this previous high, or we've at least broken that downtrend line. We're not overbought down here. We're not even overbought over here. And the relative strength versus the S&P 500 has turned up. Let's take a closer look. Here's the, that same, this is the weekly strip blown up. So you see that little, you can barely see that little blip. You'll see it on the next slide. And here again, you see the momentum. It's not exceptionally overbought. And here you see the relative strength turning up. Here you see it better. This is the price chart only. It was trading at 97.04 before I got on the call. So that would put it up around here. That was the last close. This is where it is now. So, Larry, we all know how to calculate reward risk ratios. So we are about, I would say, is that three points above support, three or four. And what could the uh, return be? Well, uh, Laura has it that this area from 67 up here to – I just calculated this a minute ago. That's about 18 points. So in other words, you've got two or three points on the downside at about 18 on the upside which means this could go probably to 108. Yeah. So this is, an actual, yeah. Uh, this is an excellent reward risk ratio. I just bought this this morning. I bought this ETF. If you're looking for stronger stocks, I had already bought St. Mary's, which is now known as SM Energy. The ticker symbol is SM. It's already up about 7%. And Exxon can still be bought. Only about a third of the stocks look technically, even though this, this looks great, only about a third of the stocks are really outperforming or look technically strong. But this is uh, my most recent purchase. Now, here is the XLE Energy Monthly Histogram. This is the stocks ETF, not the oil. And again, 26 years, we're in the strongest month. That is the uh, likelihood of an increase during the month, which is close to 65%. This is the average percentage gain, which is over 4%, for an excellent 2.8% expected return. That's the green bar. So that uh, this is exactly how the Van Eck Semiconductor Index looked when I bought it. It's up, I was at 25 or 30%. I couldn't decide which chip stock to buy, so I bought the ETF. But this is exactly how it looked. It was right above a formation. I think it was a rectangle that it broke out of an excellent reward risk ratio. So let's look at gold. And well, not only are people trying to get out of paper money, central banks are building gold positions at the fastest pace in at least a half century. This goes back to 1970. So get some real estate, get some gold, get some Bitcoin. You remember the 60s and 70s, Larry. It was freeze-dried food. Oh. Howard Ruff. <laughs> sure do. All that. Harry, Harry Schultz. Remember Harry? <laughs> yep. Oh. And here, yeah. gold to move high. Well, here, look. It broke out. The minute it broke out of this recommend uh, this uh, rectangle, I recommended it or purchased it, and that counts up to if you take the height of that and and project it up, it goes up to about. Is it here? It is right here. 2300 to 2400 but I think it's more like 2450 it broke out of that triangle so you add that amount denoted by the arrow on the top it goes up off the graph and winds up at around 2300 2400 
Now, this is what happens in an inflationary environment. Oil and gold breaking out. The monthly gold histogram, a little bit fuzzy, but this is based on 159 years worth of data, April and May, very strong. And then you uh, you don't really have any real weakness in gold because it goes up most of the, except for the month of March for some reason. So gold is also a buy. So the situation is like of the 70s, like the 70s, in which rates went well over double digits, equity markets fell, the economy suffered, investors sold stocks for less than they paid, and the purchasing power of the resulting or remaining funds declined. So it was a period of ver very real wealth destruction. Real estate went into recession, forecasted by the 18-year real estate, real estate cycle, which is at its high this year. And we had a weak democratic leader in conflict with Iran. So, and um, by the way, the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, of which I am on the board, we've republished Ed's Cycles book. This is what it looks like. You can buy it at Amazon. Cycles, the mysterious forces that trigger events. This is a hardcover released on March 19th. Wow. Very good. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, no, that's good. You've got more to go, I think, don't you? Did you? Do you no. have anything, anything to say about uh, uh, climate change? You know, the global warming and stuff. I know you do a lot of work with that kind of stuff, or you used well, to I anyway. Do you... I don't believe it. I don't believe in the climate change. The uh, Professor mm -hmm. Rhodes Fairbridge, whose work was on file at the foundation, is probably the one of the greatest authorities and you know the weather weather changes it's called weather and it changes with the sun and uh, the alignments of different celestial bodies so right now i mean if we are warming then uh, we're just coming back up to a, a mean we're, we're we're below the mean and we're coming up so and cold weather has been more destructive than hot weather so and personally i, I like hot weather so i do too yeah <laughs> And I have I, to because I, I, I live in the desert, much like you used to. And I can show you if you we want to talk a little more. This is directly from my software. This is a scan of the energy sector. These are the stocks mm -hmm. in the sector. XOI is an index. Ignore that. Mm -hmm. But you'll notice SM is ranked highest. That is used to be St. Mary's. They call it S and M. It is the ninth best performing stock in the month of April, and it's currently fourth in relative strength. NGS, I forget, it's a gas stock. It is 13th, in other words, 13th best traditionally in the month of April, but it is number one in relative strength, which means it's somewhat overbought. So if you go down the list, is Murphy Pre Precision Drilling, and there's Exxon, Marathon, which I already bought, uh, Berry Oil, Hess, Hess I wouldn't buy. Then you, you get, you see XOE in here. Hey, stay with us, Bill. We have a little small sure. break, and we'll be back with Bill Meridian, folks. We'll be right back, folks. trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, 
it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back with Bill Meridian Cycles Research. Please continue, Bill. Yeah, Larry, I'm just going to switch. This is live on the spot. This is not rehearsed. This okay. is, I just want to go back to make a point this is a rank, that's the seasonality, and that's the relative strength. So that is the index. So I'm looking at stocks above that line because they're better than the index because we want to outperform. And then we ignore XOI because that's uh, another energy index, an Amex index. And we see these stocks. And so um, I believe Marathon, there's Marathon, MPC. So we go to Marathon. Again, it's daily, weekly, monthly, price. Momentum, relative strength. Well, look at the relative strength versus the S&P 500. Here you see it daily. Here you see it weekly. It's one of the strongest. Its relative strength uptrend is greater in duration than that of most of the energy stocks. And, of course, monthly, very strong. Was it excessively overbought? No. Uh, here it is to some degree weekly. But here you see a series of higher lows daily. Now, what do cycles have to say about this? That is the monthly cycle. And um, oh. the stock is so strong that 100% of the buy signals, but only, let's put those on, 100% of the buy signals, but only 33% of the sell signals have actually led to any serious decline. Wow. And the seasonality is so probably between here and, and July, this stock is going to continue to rise to, despite its being uh, dreadfully overbought. And we can we can check it out monthly if I can hit this quickly. And here we can see we just hit a renewed buy signal and 100 percent of the buy signals, but only 50 percent of the sell signals for 11 trades in the last year have been profitable. Well, you know, in, in an uptrend, this is, you know, like Apple computer. I mean, for years, it was 100% of the buy signals daily, weekly, or monthly were profitable, but only 30 to 50% 50, 50 of the sell signals. That is what you typically see in a bull market. And if we wanted to look at it a different way, we could look at the annual chart, which you see right here. And if we click on where are we right now? We are not quite yet in June. We're back here. So if we get the little green dot here and a little green dot over there. So that's April 4th to June 8th, up 75% of the time. 
for a gain of almost 7% and expected return of 5%. So that's where we are right here. Wow. And you, you, can, you can see we're just coming out of the week period. So the idea of cycles research, as I say in my opening slide, is that the, the um, best forecast is a reasonable probability. The only certainty is a reasonable probability. So here I think we've got reasonable probabilities of about 75% that energy stocks will be higher by the end of this month. And my experience is when the, when the seasonality turns down, that the stronger stocks will still hang in there. And I'm showing you only the strong ones. And we could also look at, uh, I think, did I bring up Exxon? No, that's not it. That's not it. What's Let the largest oil company, Bill? Is it Exxon? I think it must be in terms of market cap, but I haven't yeah. looked in years and years. Oh, yeah, it used to be that, I remember. So this is the three up for Exxon. And you can see the long relative strength downtrend. It goes back to 2009. And so when these trends, when they get reversed, they last for a while. And here you'll notice this is in oversold territory, actually monthly. There aren't many stocks that are oversold. And here you have, well, let's get a better look at that. Let's go to weekly. And it hasn't quite hit that 120 level that will break it out. But I predicted it will. And once it does, you then have an objective which is equal to this amount which is about 20 bucks so 20 on top of 120 would be 140 and of course it pays a dividend it's big it's liquid it's safe it's the smaller stocks are moving first as I pointed out st. Mary and and uh, some of the others so this is the big change and as I said the let me just show you why I, I dumped Apple you know, money money never sleeps it's always going someplace Seems to be, that's for sure. From one pocket to another. And now here, look at the relative strength on Apple versus the uh, S&P 500. It peaked in November, December. It's been, it's been underperforming ever since. Well, that money's got to go somewhere. And, and you can see here, you didn't quite make a new high here. And the momentum is down. And look, the relative strength trend is up is broken the relative strength uptrend is broken here you can see it coming down here weekly so this now has built a nice top formation let's get a better look at that now there's the top formation right there and we'll get even a better look at it we will look at the weekly price so here you go so if you can break below if apple can break below this level, which is about 166, 165. If it breaks below there, then it should drop by an amount equal to this formation, which is about $30, $35, <laughs> which would put it down around here, down to around 140. So yep. that was the reason I traded out of that. And in fact, we can do something like, um, I'm just going to close this, which is easier to close it. And we can do something like this. We can, the relative strength, we can change that to Apple. But then I have to load it again. And look at this. You remember when I said Apple topped yep. in December? Look at that. Wow. This is Apple, Apple divided by Exxon. So it's telling you to make a switch. My goodness. And you can see right here, you can see this downtrend line is now broken. And he, here you can barely see that. But let us take a better look at it. Yeah, you, you could still hardly see it. <laughs> so, um, let's go back to weekly. Well, here you see it right here. You could see a reversal of the trend. So if you didn't rush and buy it in, in December, you could at least have bought it in uh, January, which m means you would have gotten in here around oh, one, is that 100? Yeah, and it's now about 118. Okay. So this is, you know, in a bull market, this is something I had to get through my head when I went to Abu Dhabi in 90 because I was more of a trader and, uh, <laughs> But there I was responsible for the tech sector, but I had to advise the whole group. And within the tech sector, I mean, how difficult was it in the 90s? 
to pick. You had to keep your eye on the relative strength versus the technology sector. So you wanted the strongest of the strong. And I did it. I mentioned this before, but I think it's very important. There are 30 stocks in the S&P Technology Index at that time. I did. Yep. Stay with us. We got another two minutes with Bill Meridian. Stay with okay. us. Two more minutes, Bill. The commercials will be done. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. We're back, folks, speaking with Bill Meridian, Cycles Research. Please continue, my friend. We've got two minutes. Hi, Larry. I just wanted to finish up on Apple. Now, look where Apple is seasonally. You see that April, May, June? Yep. So that's the static cycle. So the dynamic cycle would be, let me see if I can find it up here. There it is. That's the That's all other cycles that are accumulated down here. So the cycles point down, seasonality is weak, relative strength. So, you know, why own it? And uh, by the way, Conagra reports uh, after the closer before the open tomorrow, it is on a sell signal here weekly. It is on a sell signal monthly. So I might short that on the on the close tonight. What's the symbol on that stock, Bill? C-A-G. 
CAG. I'm going to check that out. I used to deal deal with those guys back in the old I days. I figured that would that would. Uh, yep. That would be a blast from the past. Yep. Yeah, it sure is. I got some friends there still. <laughs> Well, listen, I think that's really great that you were able to join us today, and we'll have you on again sure. next month. And it's really great. And have a wonderful happy birthday, my friend, okay? You deserve oh, the best. Thank you so much. You're, okay, bye you're bye a there. real champion. You bet. Bill Meridian, folks, Cycles Research. Uh, tomorrow's guest is going to be Mr. Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. And then on Friday, we've got Norman, who calls it to the minute, Winsky, a big fan of the Indiana State Hoosiers. Anyway, um, Try to help your neighbors out the best you can, folks. I know it's uh, after Easter and everything, but, boy, I see some stuff here in Tucson that's really scary. It uh, reminds me of uh, back in the old days of the late 50s and 60s. So please try to do something for your friends and neighbors if you can. You'll always be repaid for it when you reach the pearly gates, which we do knock on eventually. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, uh, and may God bless. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Thank you.